So again, we do a few videos about uh, mindset stuff and um, the little tips and tricks that I think work really well to help people and also stuff that I've learned. And, and you know, none of this is kind of reinventing the wheel or rocket science, um, but I think sometimes we forget and we all think that our stuff is different than everybody else's. You know, the excuse that you hear from a lot of people all the time is, well, when my, my situation is different, you wouldn't understand. And if 99% of people are saying that, then... <laughs> It's not the case. We've all got sort of united uh, problems and issues in different, obviously different varying degrees, but we see life through different optics and it's difficult sometimes to, to comprehend that. And when all about you sort of falling apart, it comes back to things you can control. And I talked about controlling your body. You know, how you, one of the guaranteed things in life is how you look after your body. Um, you only get one of it um, when it starts falling apart and you mistreat it and abuse it. Uh, it's very difficult to rectify that. Uh, and get it back into balance. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But if you're really stressed and finding life very difficult, focusing on your body, your health, your mental health, and all that kind of holistic stuff involving yourself is, is unbelievably important. Um, you know, then I talked about how you can control um, speaking to people, interacting with people. You know, your choice to be a good person, your choice to be positive, your choice to be supportive, that's something you can control. You can, of course, control it the other way and be a nasty piece of work and upset everyone but that's not going to benefit um and again you know it's actually harder to be nasty than it is to be to be nice the last area you can you can control is really how hard you you kind of work and it's not just about working mindlessly it's kind of working smart and a lot of people have like dreams and ambitions that they want to want to want to achieve but they can't they can't understand how they're going to get there so i'll give you an example i wanted to do some djing uh, people always said to me not gonna be able to do it uh, i had no idea how i was going to be able to get there um, i knew what i wanted to but if you said to me if you asked me could i say i was going to be a dj the answer was no so what i did is i then broke it down to some achievable manageable things first of all i had to learn to do it um you know and first of all i had to reach out to people that i thought would be able to help me sign up for a course invest in what i was going to going to do and that's where the application of hard work comes in because again the perception that someone's going to fix your life for you is so flawed you have to put the work and you have to put the effort and time in but it's not just about working you know hard and, and only that you need to work smart and you need to understand how you're going to achieve it and the hardest part of anything but most the most rewarding thing is the process you know when you become your dream or whatever that might be you know you'll realize that yes it's super fulfilling but actually it was a journey on the way it was putting that time in it was understanding the different areas because you know for example with um changing your body or changing your life you can't just go i want a better life because if it was that simple you just click your fingers but if you want to improve your life it might be let's look at how we can first of all improve our mental health are we speaking to people are we um, have we changed habits that are affecting ourselves um you know are we upskilling our mind are we focusing are we changing our focus of attention so if you've got a life fraught with problems and all you do is focus on them that's where your attention is but you need to divert your attention that's why i always encourage people to have stuff outside of their lives because for example if you have work and your family if your work's going crap and your family's going crap what do you have for yourself so that's why having hobbies having different interests you know having different things you can work on something you can call your own is so is so important so just a little thought for the for this morning is that another thing you control is how hard you work but it's the process and getting the process is the most difficult thing but actually in 2021 it's so easy to find the resources around you to to change what you want to do and i think it's it's something that's you know overlooked we always look at the bigger picture how we're going to get from a to b but actually it's the journey between them that, that makes a massive difference so stay positive whatever you want to achieve you can only you might believe you can do it but i promise you if you break it down into component parts you know like change your body it might be nutrition sleep hydration diet exercise you know the, the, the equipment you're using the, the plans you're following, all those kind of things are, are you know, if you get 1% better each one of those every day, you'll achieve what you want. Anyway, just a little thought, a little rant. Well, it was actually, it was very polite today, I didn't even swear.